We had a pissing competition at, uh, at school, as you do in Iran. You see him come round the corner doing this with a copy <laughs> of GTA 4. Random question. You're not saving yourself, are you? Khabib's very suspect. He's not like this. He's like this. Welcome back to the NSFW podcast here on Balls Up. Different intro today. Joe's away, isn't he? He is away. He's in, where is he? Mallorca. Mallorca. Yes. Sunning it up. Probably getting a tan, isn't he? Mm. Loves it. Burnt. What a Brit thing to do. Go to Mallorca. You just got back from Valencia. Well, Valencia's be... not, not a single Brit that I come across from Valencia. No? Yeah. Mate, it was lovely. But that actually starts us because <laughs> usually what we do to start the podcast, myself and Sav here as normal, we are joined by Milad and all time gaming's Jamie. Yes. Big back Joe. in the house. In it's the building. Well, That's been a little while. That's been a while. But we're going to start back. off. You're talking about Valencia. We usually start with a little rundown of how everyone's week's been. So yeah. start us off. You got back yesterday. Yeah, I got back yesterday. Uh, <laughs> yesterday? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, around 4.30 a.m. I got Ooh. home. And I had this to morning? Wake, yeah, this morning. And I had to today? wake up, and I had to wake up uh, at 7 to be in a management meeting by 9. Yeah, so right. lovely. Yeah. Which that's explains right. the bags. Yeah. Lovely. His eyes. Also explains how, how annoyed he was in this morning's management meeting. Mm. He was on fire. I he was, was loving it. Fuming. But it was good. You did well. Yeah, it was all right. yeah. But Valencia was nice, yeah? Valencia was lovely. I got one of those, you get one of them scooters. So <laughs> Can you, you imagine if I was in a scooter, bro? <laughs> so oh, what the electric ones? Yeah, so what happens? I saw you I sit down you download this app called Lemon. Lemon, okay. Um, you look like a lemon on a scooter, eh? Hey? Hey? That's why you're <laughs> that, actually. Got yeah. an hour of this coming up. So <laughs> you download this app and you scan it. There's scooters everywhere in the city. You scan it and it's something like 25 cent for a minute. So like you can go for like 2.5 kilometers in the taxi, that will cost you 15 euros. On a scooter, that costs you three euros. Oh, yeah. Decent, that's all right. Boom. <laughs> so you was on the scooters, that's your highlight. That's yeah? the highlight, all uh, the Scooters. Yeah. What was um, the food like? Food was incredible, seafood everywhere. We had, I had some crabs, I had everywhere. some octopus. Yeah, crabs. Just on the floor. Crabs, <laughs> octopus. <laughs> what else did I have? Some weird squid. Yeah, yeah, it was lovely. It was lovely. <laughs> it was lovely. On the menu. Good to be lovely. back, though. Yeah. Nice the, and tanned. I love the weird squid. Yeah. Please. JMO. Yeah. You've been travelling as well. I have also been around Europe. I've yeah. just come back from Cologne, Germany. Ooh. Lovely First. smelling place, Cologne. There you go. Yeah. First of many. Watch Nailed out. It. Yeah. So Nailed it. Starting it early. How, how was that then? It was good. First yeah. time ever in Germany. Yeah. Um, not as much seafood as in Valencia. I didn't come yeah. back with crabs, unlike Mills. Hey! <laughs> I, I warned you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was good. We're, there's a little old thing called Gamescom that happens out there. It's just a little thing. Little old little, thing. Little old thing called Gamescom. Just the biggest gaming event in Europe. Yeah, know? yeah. But, um, <laughs> so we're out there seeing some video games, yeah. Decent. Good. Anything, uh, anything in particular that... What? I've got something to add about that. It's Ooh. quite sad and it's quite, like, tragic. Uh-oh. I oh. heard this... Like, literally, I heard this from Keemstar, where three Madden players in a Madden tournament know, you know, yeah. got shot. What? And two of them died, <clears throat> and one of them got shot three times, severely injured, critical oh, condition, by another yeah, professional player. Madden player, yeah. because he got called out on Twitter. So he just shot him. Yeah, so, so he came in and started shot, internet, shot the man down. Internet beef turned into wow. a gamer it's going a bit crazy with this. Yeah. yeah, lovely story. Very sad. Yeah. Rest no, in no, peace. R.I.P. Very, very, very sad. Rest yeah, in peace. Very sad um, so, I mean, but there's brighter sides to the industry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, yeah. Is, uh, which is what you were experiencing. Yeah, I was shooting people virtually. Virtually. Yeah, virtually. No, yes, exactly. virtually, uh, that's, uh, virtually as in almost. 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 Just thinking about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> most days. But what, uh, what was the highlights of the stuff you saw? <laughs> highlights in terms of games. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Played a lot of the big games coming out before the end of the year. So Call of Duty, Battlefield. Played some Spider-Man. And that looked great, one. didn't it? Yeah. I saw, I saw How was Spider-Man? Spider-Man's good. Is yeah. it? Spider-Man's good, yeah. Because it's Whee! based it's based mostly on like the, the free roaming is we're gonna we, we said we're gonna talk about gaming actually today, but we're gonna come back to this. But okay. um the free roaming looks like it's similar to Spider-Man 2, the classic. It's definitely the closest oh. it's ever been to that classic Which Spider-Man was so 2. So good yeah, for that. that was a Just going game. out and swinging around. That was, was a banging game. game. So simple, right? Like all people want is their webs to attach to a building yeah. and it'll be physics based. Yeah. yeah, it's exactly that. So yes. that's cool. Yes. That, that sounds good. We'll come that back onto that in a moment. What, so what about your week? I was gonna ask you what yours were saying, but uh, mine was alright. Um it was obviously Carnival weekend. I didn't really Get up to much. Carnival? Yeah, there, so, there's a, another one. There you go. There you go. <laughs> 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 big, big time I love for it. I love, it. Yeah, love it. Um, but no, it was all right. I've, I've tried to chill out this weekend um, <clears> just because it was a mad week last week trying <clears> to get <throat> everything finished. And obviously, bank holiday Monday. Um, but yeah, no, it was all right. Obviously, Monday was a bit mad. 
uh, I couldn't come mm. in on because I was just, you know, basically oh, pooing I wasn't, myself. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't mm -hmm. gonna say. Yeah. Yeah, I had a bit of a funny <coughs> tummy. Did you have some yeah. food from the carnival, curry goat, and that? No, I didn't go to carnival. Fish, like dumpling. I just said, I just said I didn't go carnival. Oh, so you, if you didn't were go carnival. Yeah, yeah. You didn't go carnival. So do you know? Yeah. Was yeah. The, uh, I don't know. I think I had a dodgy pizza. There was a carnival me, going me on. That's a good way to go down. Me and Jamie don't live too far from each other. I think. And wait. No. Wolfenstein. No. Wolfenstein. Okay, sorry. Yeah. yeah, I'm thinking of somebody else. It's but Stoke. do you ever got you ever get a uh, a pizza go go? Yeah, they <laughs> right? well, it recently changed its name, but there was a pizza go go on Ho Street. Ho Street. Ho Street. Street. Yeah, that's a mad a name. Big road in Wolfenstein. Big, big road. road. Yeah, all kinds what, of what, what, all kind of business going on Ho yeah. Street. Yeah. <laughs> like when someone shot up late in slots. That was an eventful thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they couldn't get through the door. There's CCTV footage of it, and they're trying to ram open the door of this casino, and they can't. So they shoot the door, and it shatters, and they all just run off. Well, they're in now. <laughs> no, they, they didn't even, <laughs> they go just didn't even go in. They just shot the door of Leighton Slots. And just, just, if you're just went. If you're I had to take gun, a different route to KFC after that. I was a bit <laughs> worried. <laughs> yeah. Fair play. But yeah, to answer your question, not a lot. What have you... Pizza Go-Go is not like necessarily a North thing. Pizza Go-Go is everywhere. No, but I'm, I thought we was in the same area the same for a pizza go go. For the same it's pizza still, go go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you was going to say avoid it. At yeah, all it's not a good one. <coughs> My week, yeah. um, it's been pretty chill. When I going to, the same as you, sort of a chill bank holiday weekend. I had yeah. a busy one last weekend with my brother's 30th, so it was a bit of a, a nice calm down, relax. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but going to a premiere tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah. With, um, oh. Four balls up, which it will, I, I believe I'm, uh, I'm going to be. Doing some Instagram stories or whatever. So you would have seen those already by the time you. You probably would have seen those already. Um, yeah. The new Batista film, Dave Batista, called Final, Final Score. Score. Yeah. So don't know. Haven't seen much about it. Saw a trailer. No, it takes place at the old enemies old stadium, West Ham's Upton the old Park. Enemies. If you are, we, so, uh, are we allowed to give an honest opinion on what it looks like, or of the I film? haven't seen it yet. of the film? So the maybe trailer. not. Probably okay. not. Yeah. It looks great, guys. You should definitely go and see it. <laughs> I'll be there watching it tonight, so uh, I'll it tonight. give you some feedback for next time we're on a video. Yeah, yeah. Also uh, starring <laughs> Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. Who is yeah. the only man I've ever thrown a bread roll at, I'll yeah. have you know. I need to know that story. What, yeah. How do you throw a bread roll at Pierce Brosnan? So, I mean, I've, I've, they know the story, but I'll go into it for J-Mo. Okay, sorry um, guys. No, no. It appears in a previous round three of the quiz. It Definitely did. watched that just for, yeah. you know. Yeah, just, just forgot about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was very young and I was in a, a cafe okay. with my mum. Uh, and I was getting a lot of attention from the waitresses because they're all, all cute baby whatnot. Uh, and then uh, Pierce Brosnan walks in, takes all the waitresses away from me, which I wasn't happy about. Mm -hmm. So I chucked a bread roll at him, went in his soup, all over him. <gasps> all over Bond him. never saw uh, it coming. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you what, that's Same. a, that's a bad story. story. Yeah. That's a Two years story. old, I was doing bits. Double O seven in your face. Pete. That's the <laughs> kind. Of, the, the thing about that story, that's the kind of story that I reckon yeah. if you met him. He'd probably remember. You that. reckon he would? You don't forget like a like soup mm, going all over true. you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's true, like, actually. So he'd probably remember that. He might do. Maybe one day I'll meet him. Yeah, that'd be great. After a bread roll, you maybe you should take that premier ticket tonight. Might be mm, a bit. Yeah, we'll work. Ah, man. Are you going <laughs> to suit up? Is it a red carpet? No, I believe I'll be going like this. Yeah. Well, you're looking pretty pretty fresh as it is. So. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you. Like a proper football factory kind of like a look. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is about football to be honest. It so is about you're gonna go in there and go, look, <laughs> Jesus. You know what look. I mean? This is like this is this is factory. what the Brits do when they watch football. They dress like this. That's <laughs> fucking rare. Tamo Sane's turning up, mad thing. I used to sit in front of me a bit. There, there you yeah, go. That's that's him, yeah. Best brethren, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Best pals, me and Tamo. Best pals. Football factory quality. He was in football factory once. He was actually. If you could go go out there and find Dave Horner in football factory, I'm in the deleted scenes. It's one of the deleted scenes. My uh, when I was when I was a kid at school, um, the uh, I'm trying to think of the names. So what was Danny Dyer's character called? Couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Is there some, there's someone in it called Zebedee, isn't there? Zebedee yeah. was the one that got shot in the head. The young there. kid. <laughs> yeah. So his mate is like two of them. Yeah. yeah. Him and his best mate. Yeah. So one Tommy, of them. Tommy, wasn't it? I can't Tommy? remember the other one's name. Yeah, Tommy, Tommy was Danny Dyer. Yeah. yeah. But one of the two young ones was the cousin of uh, a mate of mine that I went to school with. Oh, okay. And they needed someone to play him in a flashback. So they got my mate. And when they asked him to do it, they said, um, oh, have you got any other mates that want to come down and be part of this? Because we need more people for this scene. So me and a few of the boys went down uh, and were part of Football Factory. And our scene was us having to beat up a kid <laughs> who was the... You know the main, you know the main guy? Uh, he's the... He's the one who Tamaha Hassan's having the argument across the football. Yeah, the ball guy, the ball guy. Yeah. yeah. 
the guy who's Kieran Knightley's dad in Bennett like Beckham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it Man. was a, it was a flashback to we were beating up him as a youngster. Oh, okay. So, so that expl- explains a lot how right, he came how an he arsehole. Yeah, Late yeah. There's so many. There's a there's a deep plot. to flashbacks. Yeah. Yeah. Explains yeah. a lot about you. Cheers. Um, but so then, uh, yeah, quality. All, all got excited about it, and obviously the way those things were back then is you used to get dodgy copies of a DVD. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So before the film came out, obviously everyone was getting old of it because we was in it. So everyone got this thing was like, oh, quality we're in a film, put it on, you can see it's all, it's wicked. <laughs> then the film comes out, and in the real version, we was in the deleted scenes. Mad. Bad. But if you go into the deleted scenes, I think it's like the first one, I've got like a big, they asked us to grow our hair out, so I've got like a big like in Beatles thing going Yeah. On. Did you get paid for it? No, I was in a film. Did okay. it just give you in like donuts or something? Way. Way. Quality stuff, decent <laughs> stuff, decent. You're on fire today. He's on fire today. Um, but yeah, I've been in a few things actually. I've actually, yeah, I've, had, I've had a, I've had a weirdly never, never went looking for it, but I've had a weirdly. Is that a date? What? What? What's he talking what about? What was that? What was that? I thought you had a date this weekend. You look like you date had a, this weekend. Yeah, no, no, you no. look like you had a date. You, no. In your eyes, I saw. I saw. I saw women in your a I woman. Women in I my eyes. Women in women women in your eyes. I see. Yeah. I hope someone does see. He women is in so future. tired. Look he how tired he is. I'm tired. I'm good. Um, <laughs> no, weird. I have never gone looking for it. But over the mm. years, I've me and uh, me and my mates or me and my brother have popped up in a few things. I was in Spooks. Yeah. Remember really? the TV series Spooks? Yeah. Yeah. They were once walking down Deptford High Street filming a scene. Oh, you told me that. And uh, me and my dad were were unloading the van. <laughs> my dad's a greengrocer, so I used to work, I work fruit and vegetables with him. And uh, it's just in the back. And the thing was, they didn't tell anyone. So it's me and my dad with a couple of boxes of iceberg lettuce on our shoulders, which look quality. Yeah, yeah. Because <coughs> iceberg lettuce weighs nothing. So I had about five yeah. boxes, but you couldn't see what was in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on the shot, I'm just there with one hand. It looks <laughs> like I'm caning it. <coughs> but because they didn't tell any of us, as they're walking down, it's just me and my dad in the back going, <laughs> just staring down the lens because we didn't know what was going on. <laughs> so we was in that. Then a mate of mine was a spark on the set for a BBC Three sitcom they did about kids at uni. Yeah. At Westminster Uni, and they needed extras, so he asked us all to go down. We went down. We was in that. They dressed us up for that. Mm. Like we got there, and there was like, oh, it's supposed to. You're supposed to like uni kids at a rave. So uh, it was a Carla was performing. So we all went (coughs) went did it, and they they put us in Von Dutch hats. I remember I had I had a big baggy black T-shirt that was just covered in dollar signs. Yeah. That's what they, it wasn't mine, that's what they gave time. us. Get it was like, money, they, yeah, they obviously get didn't get money. what it was. Yeah, yeah. But the best thing about that one is, um, there's like, first of all, we didn't last. They said to us, like, no one's allowed to leave because if you leave, we... The continuity. We, yeah, 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 so it's gone. But it was long, so we left halfway through. And Akala was, we met him in the toilet and he was with us. He was like, oh, oh, yeah, if, if I wasn't getting paid, I'd be with you. Yeah. So that's sweet. <laughs> Right. But it pans around an audience, like the shot, and they did use it of us in it, and it just pauses for one second, and it's just me looking dead at the camera going, like that. <laughs> <coughs> and, then my, and then my dad rented out his stall one day for a, a BBC, um, like, far show type sketch show. That's pretty yeah, awesome, and though, my man. brother were, uh, Jeez, were working yeah, the stalls few, in the background. Yeah, yeah, have you yeah, guys got any, have you guys appeared in, was a I in anything? I've been in multiple music videos. No, no, yeah, no, no yeah, I, I didn't oh. ask you the question, I didn't ask you, that wasn't a question. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, no, have you been in anything? No, in, in a movie, I said. Oh, I thought you said, have you no, been in anything? Movies? Nah. Oh, actually, nah. Brilliant. Jamie? I was nearly in one. Yeah? So, a couple of years ago, and this kind of ties into Football Factory, weird enough, because Nick Love, who directed Football Factory, was my old boss. Ah. I worked at a company called Vertigo Films for a little while. And while I was there, they were making a kids film called All Stars, which is about, it's one of these stories about kids who have to do like a break dancing competition to save like, right. I don't know if it's actually a community center. To save center, the community center. But it might it's always the community, community center, center <laughs> isn't it? That was and what LEG was based LEG, around. Yeah, basically, yeah. <coughs> Some stories never get old, yeah. apparently, get timeless. Old. <laughs> so I was a runner. And then I was, they were shooting one day and it was some outdoor bit. And because I was there quite early, they were getting all set up and they were like kind of blocking out the scene. So getting extras in, telling people where to stand and where to walk. And the director wasn't there yet. And the first AD was doing some stuff. Right. And he was like, can I speak to you? And he was like, go to wardrobe now, get, the, get dressed up um, and then come back and we're going to have you walking across basically. Right. Um, little side bit. I, I wasn't all, I, I didn't. Grow up, Port. I didn't always have this silhouette. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
it's been a it's been a it's, it's been a gradual thing. But over the last couple, this was sort of in the middle of it. Okay, right. yeah. As yeah. I was starting to accept what was going on, <laughs> so, carrying a bit of timber. Yeah, going to the wardrobe <laughs> on this film that had like had spent the whole thing dressing like eight to thirteen year olds, and they're like, what can <laughs> you f so it was this denim jacket. That was like, <laughs> I could have ripped the back off that thing if I'd stretched too far. I go back out, and he's Which like, means right. you're walking like this. Exactly, I, yeah, it wasn't a good look. He put, tells me where to stand, and he's like, right, so we're going to start, the camera's going to do this, and you're going to, basically, I was going to walk right in front of the camera. Right. You may not have seen my face, but I'd have been right in front of the camera. Right, yeah, yeah. And I'd do the walk a couple of times, practice it, like, kind of like on yeah. a runway. Strutting. Yeah, just making sure I look good. Um, and then it, we told, okay, everyone sort of wait <coughs> around, we're, we're going to get going soon. In the next 10, 15 minutes, the director arrives, we do one run with me in front of it. He whispers to his mate and I'm out. No. no. As soon as the so director looked, at it, I was out. No. That's so harsh. That's madness. That yeah. is do you so reckon harsh. we can find this anywhere? Oh, yeah, there's, <coughs> like, there's no evidence of, like, you can find the film. There's no evidence of that take. There's no evidence of that oh, take. Right. Cool. I'm yeah, guessing yeah, they wouldn't have kept that take. <laughs> that's 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 that take. And from then on, that's when I transitioned into post production. They never let me anywhere near film sets <laughs> ever again. My next job was to watch. Uh, the Sweeney and look for uh, logos and of brands and stuff like that that right. had accidentally made it into the film and that they had to get rights for. Right. Oh, right. Locked wicked. in a dark room. Hey, that is a... one of the most important jobs I had. Yeah. Didn't get a credit, so yeah. how important was it? Do you want a credit on the Sweeney though? No. The okay. Sweeney with Plan B. The one the with, Plan with Plan B and Brain yeah. Wins yeah. Madness. Yeah. 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 Who, who put that together? That's a man. Plan Love. B. Yeah. Nick Love. Nick Love. Plan B's alright. Yeah, Plan B's alright. He was in a adulthood as well no there was, there was a film where he was he was the villain in the uh, Michael Caine thing wasn't it oh, oh Harry Brown Harry, Harry Brown. Brown that was yeah, a good yeah, film yeah. And he, Harry Brown was a good, was a good film that was, that was a, a good, good performance by Plan Dark yeah, yeah. film that was yeah, quality he was, mm. he was good in that he was in but, oh, you know when the story was going that was hard I didn't know where the plan yeah. C was Ever been in a film, Mills? <laughs> 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 uh, no, I haven't, but my sister has. Yeah? yeah? She was one of the extras in Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. oh that's a good one. Uh, she was on a train waving. <laughs> as <they're going. laughs> Quality. Why, why is she waving? It's, it's just waving. It's just waving. Uh, Quite yeah. from the office so, yeah, there. That was it. Um, Fair play. Wicked. What are we getting into now? Which, which we start off with? Which we kick it off well, with? Well, I think what we, what we said for today's one, as soon as we've got All Time Gaming's finest in the house. Yeah. Uh, Fine, it's one of the three. Thanks, one of the four, actually. Yeah. Four, you know, Cameron. One of four. One, one of four. four. Um, I thought, since you've just come back from uh, the the big the big Cologne event, and the we're talking game. about Spider Man, mm. yeah. people keep liking our sort of throwback stories. So we figured, why don't we talk about sort of old school stories of uh, from the gaming world? Cool. So <clears throat> I think we start it off with, like, I tell you what we'll do because it can lead into new other things. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the best games that you remember from your childhood and growing up. And then we'll move into things that you're looking forward to coming out because I think things that are coming out yeah. and events that are upcoming will yeah. lead us into our next topic. Before we start though, go to All Time Gaming, write a comment, obviously just subscribe, write a comment saying balls up, send, send us here. There you go, that's how you plug it, Boom. just like Plugs. that. Plugs. Also, before Love we go any further, we will say if you're listening on iTunes or any of the other yeah, things, yeah. Five Jones stars. have the right up because he usually does all this and we've waited too long oh, yeah, to do it. Five mm. Give us five stars, give us a rating, do all the good no, stuff. Because everyone who started listening is still here now, so yeah, yeah, exactly. definitely. what's the difference? We're definitely in yeah. 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 We'll probably have fifty five percent of retention <coughs> here. But let's uh, let's kick it off with <laughs> let's kick it off with you, Sav. You kick it off Gaming with me. memories. Gaming memories. So my first console, I didn't really have um, any of like the original original consoles, like your Segas, your Dreamcasts. Like I didn't really have any of those. My first one was the original Xbox. Really? That was my first console, yeah. Okay, let's oh, that is a generation yeah. Let, Let's just move on from it. Yeah, <laughs> that's the But what, what, what games were like, the first things that you were playing? So, the first games, obviously so Pez. Like Halo Pez was bigger like than Pez was big. Halo, I was never a big, I'd had it. But because that was like, the, I had it. that was it the always selling came with point it. of yeah, the first yeah, Xbox. It, it always it? came with it. Like, I never really played it like that. It was cool. It weren't really my thing. My yeah, thing, was I. Medal of Honor I had on I Xbox. Been, yeah, Medal of Honor Medal was of Honor. sick. That was, like, that was the Honor. shoot that I used to bang out on Love Xbox. Medal of Honor. Other than that, also um, Pez. Pez was huge. It was bigger than FIFA back in the day. I was a, I was a, I, I liked Pez. Pez was better than FIFA back in the day. Yeah. It yeah. just hands down. But Especially it did, it did the, get to a point where it's just like, like FIFA just yeah, went. Yeah, it's just overtook, right. it, went, overtook yeah, it, it big time. It was, yeah, yeah. I think it was probably around about 2003, 2004. Nah, I disagree. No, there I was disagree. FIFA. 1998 was banging from FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> Road to World no, Cup, are you <laughs> mad? No, I think, so the first <laughs> one I was in there, really that was really the first like, game around was 2002 yeah. was really good at FIFA. But what I'm thinking is 2003, 2004 were the first ones where 
they started to properly map players' yeah, faces, true, true, have the true, full license to everything and move like into its, its own. Do you know what I mean? Uh, the thing is, for me, the first Pez that was better than the first FIFA that was better than Pez was FIFA two thousand and eight. That was the first yeah. one. Yes. Yeah. Like FIFA. T- the gameplay on PES was so good. It was what it was way better yeah. until 2008. 2008's FIFA. I remember playing it and be like, oh, what, okay. Yeah. What one had um, Adriano on the cover? PES. Yeah. No, but what PES? I think uh, PES uh, I 2006, wasn't it? That, that one. It was, might have been. Auto, yeah. auto I remember. Seven, that, I'm not sure. Quality. Don't don't. Didn't don't PES also? Didn't PES also have Colina on the cover at one point. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah. That, no. FIFA no, had Colina. Kalina was on the like it was like Pez two or three. It was like yeah. o- orange yeah, yeah, wash yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. and he was like pointing and yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 The one thing in Pez four. Pez two was sick. I thought it was called Pez four. I'm not sure. But anyway. he was on one with Edgar Davids on FIFA. Wasn't no, he? the Edgar Davids one was Davids Giggs, Giggs. and Roberto Carlos. That was yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that was yeah. definitely yeah. FIFA. Yeah. Edgar yeah. Davids was FIFA. That's one where Edgar Davids. I don't know why I remember this, but there's a little trailer at the start, and he puts the ball up his shirt and spins it around. I always remember that. That is a that's. Yeah, mad. Right, I just, I just realised the story I'm telling. That 2003 FIFA mm. was, I remember that so clearly because it was the present that um, all of my mum's sisters put money in to get me. Oh, yeah. Uh, for after having the old snip done. Ah, yeah. oh, I was 12 years old, yeah. That's when year seven, I had to have the old, the old Get sir, rid of the, the tickle circuit. tackle. The old so and so they gave me that. So literally, it was, imagine like being that. Having that done, being yeah. like, oh shit, like going home, but in your hand, yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. looking at FIFA like, mm-hmm. this is oh, going to be sick. Yeah, <laughs> just got home and yeah. was plotting Makes myself better. Yeah. Had like a couple of weeks off school before going back, just came back. Random question. You're not circumcised, are you? No, I'm not. Classic. I think it's, 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 it's three quarters <laughs> here, isn't it? Yeah, three quarters. Three, three quarters of the table. I'm out the odd one out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow, Rocking okay. the old turtleneck. I've been over the nose that like mashed. I don't know if you ever know about this this game. Jamie might, because he's a big gamer, but there was a car called, a car, a game, a car game called Mashed, where you would have a car that was souped up with weapons, right, and you'd go around a track, right, it was a similar game to Wrecked that they brought out, like, mm-hmm. a few, do you remember, do you know I what I'm talking Wrecked. about? I, I remember Wrecked, right. I don't remember Mashed, though. So, so, Mashed and Smackdown, Here Comes the Pain were the two games yeah, that, yeah, I yeah, to, yeah, that, that I used to that I used to bang out the old wrestling games from that era. Oh, I used oh to bang God. those games yeah, out like yeah, that yeah. was my go-to. What other ones? So here comes the pain. Then you had shut um, your mouth. Uh, shut your mouth was God. Yeah. Oh, that was good. But do you know what? So this is the thing you say about them. Mm. My earliest memory. So you're talking about Xbox, but yeah, my yeah. earliest memories in terms of a console was me and my brother had a, a Sega Mega Drive. Mad. When we were first. When we I'm were gonna kids. smash you lot in this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna even, smash you lot. Get this. Like you're this. even. A, you're even a year older. Don't than tell my age though. You're even. A, what are you now? No, don't tell me my age. That. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're a year older than my brother, so like he's going <laughs> even beyond that. But so we had a Sega Mega Drive, and we had. I don't know if any of you all know these. I'm not sure, but. Gunstar Heroes. Yes. Yep. Alex Kidd. Remember yep. Alex Kidd? And, uh, Alex Kidd. and there's one more. Beast what? Wars. Surely Mortal games. Kombat. What you used to buy then is you used to get the, car- the, the cartridges, wouldn't they? Like the right. old school ones. Yeah, yeah. But it was like three or four games on one. Yeah. So, but th- it was like just old, what do you call them? Where it's literally just, it's a... a side scroller? Yeah, yeah. But they were incredible then. Like it yeah. was the best thing in the world. And then... So you started with them, that's what we had. And then I remember moved up, we got an N64, yes. which was um, an international was superstar N64. soccer 64, which was basically Pez on the Nintendo 64. N64 was banging. And they had no naming rights. So Zaban would pass it to yes. Ronaldo with an oh, IR, no. uh, I, RI, things like that. Zibane. Blue London, London yeah. Golden Eye. And Trad Brick. Golden Eye. Golden Eye on the N64. Golden Eye. I know it's the obvious oh, one, but yeah. Golden Eye on the N64 Bang. was. Golden and I. the most frustrating thing was. That that mission where you when Natalia had to follow you, yes, brother, and she just wouldn't fucking follow you <laughs> wherever you yeah, went. Man. She was getting caned down with a gun. <laughs> that game was so frustrating. That was yeah. a good game, and do obviously the Mario they, Kart. Do you remember oh, you used yeah, to take the yeah. games out and it didn't work at first? So you yeah, flow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, flowing in a cartridge. I, I don't know where I remember this from, Goldeneye. And I don't know why I did it either, but there was one mission where you started in the vents above a toilet. Yeah, yeah, and it's I just first, loved. It's the first one. I love coming out the vents and just shooting people on the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> just so you gu- could you would appear when you're above them. Yeah, um, you could look down on a guy there, taking yeah. a shit, fully yeah. clothed. Boom. And then they, they must have had one of those, you know, do undo the buttons and there's a flap or something. Yeah. <laughs> and I just pop him in the head, yeah. restart level. Yeah. <laughs> do it again. Right at it again. 
turn on paintball mode and just put paintballs all over <laughs> that was, oh, I love it. Quality, yeah, that Goldeneye was an incredible was game. Do you remember you, you used to have um, in multiplayer? I think you could do it in single player as well. But I can't remember, was it our job? You used to throw his hat at people. Yes. And it was yeah, like yeah, the yeah, most yeah. overpowered move ever. Yeah. Yeah. Like you just bang. You get the one dead. where you can have the double guns as well and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That quality. was a wicked But the game. reason I was coming on to that was because you're talking about the wrestling games. I had WWF Attitude. That's a, that was which a mad was game. Insane. And I always remember there was one. There were weird things they used to put in games. And I'll come on to one of these in a bit for a game later down the line, like PlayStation era. Because yeah. one of the best things I've ever seen done in a game. But. There was a thing where like, on WWF they would just enter the ring as normal, always the same entrance. But then there was like, not a glitch in the game, but they put this setting in the game where at a certain point Triple H would walk out. But when he got into the ring, instead of just doing his normal thing, it almost felt as if the game had broke and he just talked to the camera, but as if he was talking to you. Yes. And did like That's a monologue for like a couple of minutes what? talking about you as I've the player. I've never heard of that. Though. And imagine... Being, which I'll come on to later, this got worse with the, the game I'm going to talk about for PlayStation, but imagine being that age I was, when yeah, you're yeah. like six, seven, and the game is now talking to you. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. me and my brother are sitting there like, uh, this is something's this not is right. Mad, this yeah. is a, it proper freaked us out, but yeah. that game was quality. And then there was more, there was another, you had, uh, shut your mouth, here comes the pain. Yeah. There was another one that was that was... What the was one the one with Brock Lesnar on the front? That was Here Comes the Pain. That was Here Comes the Pain. Are you talking about the one that was just called Raw and it no, had Goldberg? That was because that was only uh, Goldberg. That was, was only on mean, um, that Xbox. was only on Xbox. Yeah. Well, let's 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 try some wrestling moves out here. Yeah? Not some right now. Not in this setting. You can do it if you're on me, Mills, to see if you can get off the ground. See how that would work. What would I do? The German suplex and throw me into the wall. My favourite thing about Here Comes the Pain, and me and Jay were talking about this the other day. Yeah. So there was a mode where you could fight backstage, but it was almost like open world. Yeah, the amount yeah, of places you could, you could go. Around, yeah. Like you're going Times Square and yeah, like you're yeah. going, yeah. You're going remember, everywhere. Do you remember when you'd get to the arrow that would take you to the next Yeah, street? yeah, and you should still mad you, but, but you had to keep walking into it. Yeah, so the yeah. guy would just be standing there. You still mad transition. Yeah. And his hair is just constantly yeah. back. Right, it was so mad. It was like the maddest game. Georgia, it was like one of my favourite games. And not only that, but like, me and Jamie were sitting there the other day watching clips of like what they used to do in the game, and in my opinion, it was more cre- it was more creative back then with what you could do. Yeah, than it is than now. It is yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like some 100%. of the stuff you could do back then was mad. Jumping up Times Square, bro. Jumping up helicopters in that. Yeah. Just yeah. RKOing yeah, people but I off bet, the helicopter. Yeah, but I bet they didn't yeah. know that could even be possible. Yeah. Like, they, like they, the creators didn't put that on purpose. It just fucked up. It was a glitch. Maybe. Oh, that one. mad. Just bring it. Just bring That's it. That was a good game. Speaking, that was a good game. Games. Yeah. 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 What was your memories? first earliest memories, bro? Um, I, I, I came into it, I'd say, I guess, between you guys. My first ever console was a Game Boy Color. Okay, yeah, yeah. But, oh, yeah, that's... But yeah. it was a lot of just, like, I had a console because people, you got consoles. Yeah, and, like, yeah. my dad had a PS1, and, like, right, yeah. I got a GameCube. That was the first console that yeah, was really mine. So a lot of my memories from... My favourite memories from being younger in gaming, like, you know when you just used to, like, go to game on a weekend and go yeah. through the pre-owned yeah, section yeah, yeah, and just yeah. see what you could afford yeah. and just buy any old shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where we're picking up things like Abe's Odyssey, Oddworld, and stuff like yeah, that. Exactly. <laughs> or, yeah, exactly. Or, like, I was saying, we were talking about this earlier, that um, my mum had a membership for Primetime Video because it was about a quid or two cheaper was than that? Blockbusters. <sighs> To rent films and stuff on the weekend, but they had a game section. I yeah. miss Blockbuster. So you could man. rent, you could rent a game for a few. Days. Blockbuster was banging. And the games used to pick up there because they never had the new releases, so it was mm-hmm. always like stuff that was a bit weird. Yeah. Some yeah. of the stuff you'd pick up there was amazing, yeah. and I, I've said this before. My mum once for my birth for it was a birthday or something. The present she got me was uh, she she rented me Tekken Free for like Tekken three days. That's free. a cool so game. That's happy, a game. happy birthday! You've got seventy two hours with this, and then it's going back. Tekken Free. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Dude, that's all you need. My Yours is probably like my like mad old. You've been balling the up. cup like, and all that. mad old. My like, first hoop, console. Hoop and, a, hoop and a stick. My first console. I think <laughs> I remember Jacks. I was like five yeah. years old. <laughs> I remember five, I think it was about five or six. Pop what was that, the 60s? My, yeah, Pop my mum gave me a piece of chalk. <laughs> yeah, she just said, go and have some fun. That's what you were up to. Um, my, my first console was Commodore. The C64. Whoa. Commodore. Um, wow. So the game was, it was in a cassette tape. So you know how a cassette yeah, tape yeah. is where you play music and stuff? Put this, the, the thing would come out, put the cassette tape in, <laughs> and then I hope and pray after an hour the game comes on. And it was, we only had one game, and the, the game was this guy on a bike, and he had to do a wheelie. 
and there was like little little like obstacles and little things that you had to hop over and stuff like that. That literally was. What was my it first called? Game. Commodore. Commodore. Commodore, Commodore sixty four. Commodore sixty four. Yeah. Yeah. And that's then the one of the my earliest, earliest. That's literally the earliest. Obviously, Atari afterwards. Yeah. Um, and the Atari was. Sh- was banging, but when you look at it now, it's well oh, shit. All of them, yeah. at the time, yeah, like, incredible. Sometimes you can tell just looking at the controllers. Yeah, there was yeah. one that was like a joystick just with two buttons yeah. on it. Yeah, you think, what, what yeah but you think on? like you think I don't actually think there's ever going to be a step up graphics wise than there was from PS One to PS Two. Nah, you're wrong. You're wrong. We'll get like, we'll get about, to that in a minute. Think, think about PS One GTA. Yeah, mm. top down. View. Yeah, like how incredible was it? To get the GTA yeah. 3, the first one that was sh- the same as it is, yeah. like that felt like that felt like wow, we've we've gone into the future now with games. Grand Theft Auto was PS, the one that was like, PS2 Whoa. was like the peak of that was incredible, and like I don't know about you as well, but we had a we got a PS2 purely because uh, my uncle could get it chipped. <laughs> in Iran, we used to get a chip. In Iran, we used to get a chip. And it used to mean that you could you could pay like two, three quid for games because you get chipped games. They obviously yeah, like yeah, ripped yeah. versions yeah, of the game. Man. Quality as well. Anytime it was playing up, just give it a swift whack on the top yeah, of the yeah, machine, yeah. it'll kick back into gear again. <laughs> Laser just burning all your yeah, discs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Quality mate. stuff. But the I game actually on that was uh, Metal Gear Solid. Was oh, the yeah, other Metal one Gear I was going to say. Which one? Steak? If you say it's stakey, yeah, no, 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 I'll no. give you a hug. No, no. So Metal Gear, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 1, okay. the yeah. first one, yeah, I'm sick, saying sick, that sick. when you fought Psycho Mantis yeah, in yeah, that yeah, game yeah. and he would control your controller, and you couldn't get out of it. Yeah. That was incredible. You know about Snakey, and yeah. I'm talking yeah, about yeah, I know about yeah. But the, yeah. but what I'm talking about with Metal Gear was this is before the days of the internet. We didn't have that when we were first playing games. So you had to go and buy walkthrough magazines. Yes, yeah. it's true. And you had to read to how God. to get through games. What a nerd I was, oh, man! <laughs> bro, <laughs> proper nerd. Have, me and my brother used to have bunk beds in our room, and it used to be the pair of us sat on the top bunk with the the cable barely reaching. <laughs> And my brother would be playing it whilst I read out how Hard he's to supposed there, to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it took us so long to figure out that I've never seen someone do something so cool in a game since. Maybe, yeah. I, maybe I just haven't seen enough cool stuff. But uh, Kojima, the guy that made that, uh, that Metal Gear Solid, be made cool, it yeah. so that the only way you could beat Psycho Mantis was you had to take your controller out of port one and put, put it into port, port two. two. And he couldn't control port two. That's and to sick. think, like, That's to mad, step out of the game and have a physical yeah, change that has to happen for you to do it. Yeah. I haven't seen a game do that since. And he used to have, Psycho Mantis would do things where your whole screen would go black. And remember, like, in the old days when TVs went off, there was just the green writing yeah. in the corner? Yeah, yeah. It used to just say Hideo. So you thought, because we didn't know who the game maker's name was at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. We just thought, oh, the game's messed up. Yeah. So you keep turning it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then restarting it, and it kept out, and then it took you so long through reading pages and pages yeah, to realise yeah, yeah. it's the game doing what the game does. I've got some crazy stories, man, when it comes to games. I would, literally, I could sit here for three hours talking about gaming. Gaming. Gaming's literally uh, sounds like great idea, three hours of it. <laughs> <laughs> there was, uh, there was uh, I don't know if you know about memory, obviously you know about memory cards. My mum wouldn't yeah. buy us memory cards because we couldn't afford it. Mm-hmm. So we used to like, play Sonic, the original Sonic, yeah. and then the original Crash as well. Yeah. Oh, Crash was the most Crash. frustrating Probably. thing. Try and play Crash or finish it without memory card. I dare you. Oh, so See, you've got to do it in one hit. That's, that's the weirdest thing. Oh, this the is literally the most frustrating thing. The exact thing. same thing. Yeah. Yeah. thing. Like, like, I never had a memory card on PS1. And one time we had a babysitter. I don't know where my mum was. We had a babysitter and she was for- said, you have to go and have a bath. But I was determined like to get as far as I could in Crash because yeah. if you couldn't finish it in one sitting, you didn't finish, you didn't it. finish it. And yeah. So I paused it and I turned the TV off but left the console on. When I, she turned it off. Oh, oh no. my God. That I happened to me. You, I bet you when you live as well. I shit all over the floor. Protest. <laughs> Dirty protest. <laughs> Dirty protest. <laughs> Clean that up. That, that, that happened to me as well. I told my mum she'd ruined my life. <laughs> she's, I she's, she's all going to clean him up. He's just cracking on again at level yeah, one. Level. Yeah, that's, that's Remember the Crash Bandicoot where you got the level with the hog? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Loved that. that was but so good. It was good. hard though, man. It's that, difficult. That, yeah, it's so difficult, man. Yeah. Games, I know obviously we're younger at this point, and obviously you're not, you don't think in the right yeah, way yeah. to do it, but I swear to God that games were so much more, more difficult fun. back then. It was more fun. And more though. fun because of it, but they were so difficult to actually yeah. Like, yeah. properly get through stuff. You're talking about Medal of Honor. I remember the Medal of Honors that were like, um, what was the, like, where, where they were like the World War I set ones? Do you remember them? That was oh, the first the, one. The brothers, what was, the, the, one, what was the one where it stopped yeah, with you on the boat? Yeah, Band the brothers. It's Band the brothers. Band the brothers. Front line. It starts with you on the boat. Is that yeah. the one? Yeah, that's and the one. You have to break, the, the boat is yeah, sinking. Yeah, yeah, you have to yeah, break yeah, out yeah, of yeah, it, and then you're like, you're, oh. you're, they're flying over you. Yeah, And it's in the proper like you shoot, and it's a reload. Like there's no machine gun. 
though they were quality yeah. Medal of Honor games. We yeah. just take game for granted now, don't we? Yeah. We literally back then it was just like but we had it's no choice. They're so good now. No, we had no choice. We had to play Crash for two years yeah. to yeah. wait for our next game to come That's out. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. The yeah. steps up then were yeah. so much bigger. But you're saying that the games are so good now. I find that, like, I play. I mean, so good. I mean, they're so well put together. Yeah, yeah, but I still feel like they're not long enough. I think it depends which ones. It depends I don't, I, which one you. There's you no play. middle ground. Yeah. yeah. It's like so. Some yeah. games, like to me, Battlefield Three is the prime example of this. Yeah. I completed that in a day, and I'm. Yeah. I'm. I'm good at games, yeah. but I'm not like. There's people yeah, that are hundred times yeah, better yeah, yeah, yeah. than me. 100%. So I shouldn't. I completed that in a day, and I know these games are now built for online or whatever. Yeah. But I still want. I'm. I'm someone that I'm, I want a campaign, yeah. a yeah, proper yeah. thing. I when I play a game, I want it to feel like I'm in a movie. I'll tell you which one would be good for you. Snake Eater. No, nah, The Witcher. <laughs> That's incredible, though. Snake Eater. That'll take the, you about the, three months. Yeah. The Witcher. The Witcher. Yeah. The Witcher Three. But then again, some oh, of God them. Oh God, of some God of War. Some, some of them not that long, though. It's some of them long, go bruv. too if big. If you do everything, it's pretty long. Like, say for example, Metal Gear Solid. Phantom Pain is the latest yeah, one. Yeah, five. Yeah. yeah. The size of that game yeah, yeah, yeah. is no. too big. It's yeah. outrageous. Yeah. Like it's it's it's. And I got told the other day that I'm about twenty percent through that, and apparently the game resets in about in about ten percent, and it becomes <laughs> a new story. I've been playing it for six months. I ain't even got there. Yeah. Like that's too big. Do you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, I'll tell you another one. Um, what was the one we used to play? Us three. Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon. Recon's yeah. a huge map, but I think. Mate, yeah. I've, Ghost Recon is. Mate, I game. forgot. We, we forgot about this. How we forgot about this? I've got to tell you a story about how I got my Nintendo 64 first. Yeah. Then I've got to talk to you about Mortal Kombat. Mm. Okay. How we forgot about Mortal Kombat? I was a Tekken. Mortal Kombat was bad. Mortal Kombat I was, was always mad. a Tekken man. Yeah. I got Finish into Mortal him. Kombat later. Fatality. Yeah. Are you mad? <laughs> so, one one day I was at school. I come home. Um, we had a pissing competition at, uh, at school. Mm-hmm. As you do in Iran. Like, who could go the furthest? <laughs> As you do in Iran. Um, so so was it who could go the furthest? So, yeah, exactly. So, we were lined up in the toilet, <laughs> a boys' toilet, and then we'll line up, and then we can piss the furthest. We'll basically win lunch or wherever it was at that yeah. time. Um, <laughs> it was weird as fuck. Um, and then, then we win lunch. Weird shit happened at school. I guess. Yeah. Huh? I said weird yeah. shit happened when we were at school. It happened in Iran all the time. Um, so, <laughs> basically, my head teacher caught us, and we all obviously got in trouble. And then um, we we had to we had to stand Stop. out. Stop! And they're all just. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you the two hander there. So you're welcome. Get it. Um, we, we used to we used to we have to stand outside in the in the in the playground, and then the, the basically the t- the head teacher went pick a tree, and one of the idiots picked the cherry tree. So we had to go and climb it and take a branch off. So everyone had to pull the hand out and get ten hit on each each hand, oh, yeah. and with the cherry tree. If you know anything about trees, cherries are, <laughs> quite, are quite wet. So the branch, when you get hit here, you get here at the same time. Okay, because it's it a goes double. Up hit. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I went, yeah. I went up to my mum and told her the story. I went, my my head teacher banged me up and stuff like that. <laughs> and then I didn't actually, I didn't actually tell her the true story. So she came up tomorrow and was like, I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna kill this head teacher. Yeah, so she yeah. came up to the head teacher. The head teacher told her what happened, and then she fucking slapped me across the head. <laughs> so you doubled up your game. Yeah, so I was, I, was, I was in a bad way. For two days, I was in a bad way. I come home crying and stuff. My, I'm in my room because I'm grounded. And then my dad come and goes, come on, I need to chat to you. I was like, oh, please, dad. I don't want to get another beating, man. <laughs> and then he went, look, over there. And he set me up a Sega Mega Drive. No. That's set me up already. Mortal Kombat waiting to play. I looked at him and went, don't fuck him out. Don't fuck him out. And he went, go on, go and play. And that's that was my mad. first memory. That's it was literally quality. the best that's memory quality. I've ever had oh, in yeah, my yeah, entire yeah. life. Yeah. I don't think you can ever Those moments. That memory. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. And when are you ever going to get that? Top yeah. memories like that, I think uh, pre-ordering San Andreas, mm. and yeah. it was on a bank holiday, and if you pre-ordered it from game, it arrived a day before release. And right. so me and my brother was on the way home from my aunt's house, got home, and I remember walking up to my porch door, mm. and you could just see a package, and literally our hearts went. Because it was like, we, we'd we been talking about, oh, people have been saying it comes a day early, not knowing, and obviously thinking this is never going to happen. Yeah. Got home, it was a bank holiday as well, so the next day was off school. And seeing it there and being like, oh my, like this yeah. is the yeah. best thing that's ever happened. Did you and go to the again, gym? Yeah, it went to the gym. Also, it came with a pre-order, I've told you this before, it yeah. came with a black bandana. So there's, there, <laughs> there's no photo of it, which is unbelievable, but... There's a snapshot in my head of just my brother playing the game and me sitting there reading a the walkthrough with yeah. a fucking bandana on my head <laughs> while, we're, while we're listening to Radio Los Santos <laughs> and he's working out in the gym. That's, that's the soundtrack those, was bad. I know, that's one of those series I feel like I can remember 
the story of how I got like every copy of every yeah. GTA I've yeah, ever had. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I remember when GTA 4 came out, and uh, we, me, we were all go two of us were going to our mate's house, um, and it was like, it came out on a Friday or something, so we'd had school, yeah. uh, and we didn't know whether it arrived that morning. So we were walking yes, back to his house, I remember this. and we had loads of bags, because it was a Friday, and we were taking loads of shit home. And I remember the bags were weighing us down, so we thought, uh, look, we're going to leave our bags here. He had, you know one of those weird motorbikes that are so small you have to fan your legs out to make sure you're not oh, draining? Yeah, 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 yeah. He had one of them, and he was like, stick your bags down, I'm going to run, come back on the bike, we're going to load the bike up with bags. Yeah. And I just remember seeing him come around the corner doing this with a copy <laughs> of GTA 4, just waving it around in the air. The well, Nico Bellic one. Yeah, the Nico yeah. Bellic one. That's hilarious. Unbelievable. And even five, like I took a day off for five. Yeah. Or ordered yeah. it. The delivery never came. I called up and I said, where, oh, where is it? Waiting at the window. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, exactly. Literally yeah. waiting at the window. And they said, the driver took it, but they can only drive for so long in a day before they have to turn around and go back, regardless of whether they finished all their deliveries. So it's at the depot. And I got in a taxi. This was, and I, I got there, it was like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And there, it was raining. And we were, me and a bunch of people were standing outside at this massive like warehouse, and they would come and they'd look at like your form or whatever, and they'd yeah. go in and see if they could find it. And I ordered the collector's edition, so it's this fat box. Was yes. everyone picking up GTA? I'd like to think so, yeah. but it was probably just me. <laughs> I just remember I'd only worked where I work now for two months, and I was still like, I'm taking the whole week off for this yeah, game. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. The, fe the feeling of getting that box and getting home and Amazing. staying up till four in the oh, morning. Well, this like, kind of brings us in a way onto the next point into the modern day because I'm thinking about games like that that we've had I think what another one that goes up there like that is mm. Red Dead mm -hmm. yep. in terms of one For in sure. recent past sort of five or so years For it's sure. been incredible to invest and a, a game was the right length of time For sure. mm. and how in terms of games coming forward because Red Dead 2 is on its way next year yeah. no this, this year this year right? uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, Spider-Man's out I think uh, uh, spider Man is out in a week <coughs> isn't it yeah. seventh or seven, yeah. something yeah, yeah. In the next so couple of weeks. with that in mind uh, what have we got coming up that we're looking forward to I know I've been you put me onto one which is that I've been looking at since and I'm I, Ghost of Tsushima looks incredible Ghost of Tsushima looks up. incredible as, that's a, amazing as, 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 as a visual oh, game the aesthetics the are, actual are game we talking game? about a game that I'm actually excited where I would kill someone to play it first <laughs> <laughs> The Last of Us 2 yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. would genuinely kill someone in this room who, uh, who would you kill uh, who are you killing for it Definitely not Georgia. Just uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Georgia. No, definitely not Georgia. Georgia's you can say you can say me. Yeah, well, no, yeah, not it'd be me. Uh, uh, it'll it'll either be you. Yeah. Either be you. 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 Either Last of Us was fantastic. Yeah, if you haven't played it, please go. I play. actually need to borrow it off you. I yeah. haven't played the first. Last of Us Two. I have a masterpiece. Played the first one. Masterpiece. Um, one of the best games I've ever played. Yeah, I, I could Genuinely. say the same you, thing. You I'd that second that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'd say the same thing. I know it's not the longest, but <laughs> if you're gonna own a PS4 and you are soon, <laughs> you need to play um, Uncharted Four. Yes. But any I love it. Any Uncharted. On the on the on the no on the PS. They're very short though. Yeah, but I've played I've played all the others. Aesthetics. I've played all the others. It was the even when I was getting out of gaming, yeah. and I was not getting out of gaming, but just didn't have as much time to yeah, do it yeah. as much. Uncharted was always a game that I would find time yeah, to, yeah. to buy and play because mm. it was just the gameplay of it was so fun. It yeah. never got boring. For sure. Like the way you could scale things and the, and even like the fact that <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong. I think I might have just turned it off if it was on there, but there was no auto lock on. Uncharted. Well, I never had any. No, you don't. So know, yeah, well. having, having a game where it wasn't made easy for you, yeah, you yeah. wanted you had to figure out yourself. Uh, they were quality. Yeah, they were yeah. Play the Last of Us. So Last of Us Two, Red Dead Two, um, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. And, I mean, you haven't you haven't dropped in a new release coming out. I mean Spider Man, but I uh, yeah, Sp the, Spider Man the, and Red Dead are my two big ones for yeah. the rest of this year. Next, the start of the first three months of next year are are stacked. Go on. Um, so there's some big games coming out of Japan. <coughs> uh, Kingdom Hearts Three. Oh yeah, which I, I, I'm, I might not play, but it's a big deal. Uh, Devil May Cry Five, I'm looking yes, forward to. Yeah. One that you'll be interested to have in is uh, Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice. That's the new From I'm, Software. I'm, they I'm guys make like it. Dark Souls and stuff. I'm all, all over it already. I'm all what over we got it, with in terms of strategy? Because I'm a strategy kind of guy. Um, I know, I know, Age of Empires Four is coming. There'll out. be Age of Empires Four at some point. There's that thing you're playing at the moment. Is, oh, it's quality. It's, sheltered. It's, it's, yeah. Sheltered is it, unbelievable. It's one of those ones where I would be hooked on it if I let. I can't let myself play. Literally, Sheltered is unbelievable. Like, it's like I, five five pounds on Steam. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is it the one where it's like a, a hunter gatherer thing and you've got so a, like, like you, you've got a family of yeah, four? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You've got a family of four, a horse or a dog or a cat. You can choose choose a horse. 
because uh, he carries more than he, he goes faster and carries less water. And, uh, yeah. This so is a water. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. basically, you it's have to learn game. to survive. After yeah, it's a mad game. It's a mad game. So yeah. Yeah. It's it's yeah. I can't play like uh, football. Joe's the same as this. Ginger mm. Joe. Um, football manager is a is a risky game for yeah. me. No, I will put that shit away. I'm Probably, I, I wouldn't be as bad now, but in my younger years, <sighs> like I would, I would be. Hooked. I wasted too much time, man. I played 27 hours straight one so time. So I'm saying, back <laughs> like, in the day, that's it was insane. Bad. Like, who does that? 27 hours straight. 27, 27 hours straight. 27 hours straight. 27 hours straight. On my mum's life, I played 27 hours straight. Championship manager four. Mm. It was just like, what am I doing with my yeah, life? That's mad, but man. then I started <clears> again. <throat> <laughs> what? That's mad. Um, yeah. One of the ones that. Uh, not um, life. <laughs> well, man said, had you know. Man. Uh, mad. Bad. Uh, one of the ones I am interested in. Simply again because of the aesthetic. Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven looks good. Yeah. It looks it good. Does look yeah. good. That does game look good. looks. If it look, if it plays as good as it looks, mm -hmm. that's gonna be up there because it almost looks like you're playing through Altered Carbon. Mm. Yeah. If you watched Altered Carbon, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Or like a Blade Runner, yeah. like a Blade Runner type. Yeah. yeah. But, but it there looks was, mad. I think it might have been Chris from Gaming or even through the Gaming account. I'm not sure, but put a tweet out the other day that was like. If Takeshi Kovacs isn't was, in uh, there as Jonesy. DLC content, was it Jonesy? Yeah. Then they've missed the trick. Yeah. Like, yeah. And with, with the rucksack as well, yeah, the, yeah. the pink rucksack. Because that would be... Yeah, Cyberpunk does it. Cyberpunk does it really was banging. There was like, a, there was like a, a 50 minute demo that was put up like either yeah. last week or this week. I'm not sure. But it, it's like a sort of a playthrough yeah. of one of the missions, like a side mission. And I was just watching, I was in awe of like what it looked like. It just looks... Amazing, it's so immersive the world that it's like I feel like I'm there, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't, other than that, what about read that. he's got the thing with the when he got the Mega Drive, Jamie with the GTA 4, <coughs> and me with the San Andreas. What's like yeah. your iconic gaming moment where you had euphoria due to it? FIFA Street, yeah. first yeah. time Street. I loaded up FIFA Street. My mum got me Xbox. Dizzy Rascal, then the Dizzy Rascal yeah. vibes, yeah. Like, it, stand up to every time, like when, when, um. I got the Xbox and there was a few games that came with it and one of them was FIFA Street, the first one. And um, I've n probably never been happier. You know, you sit down and my mum never let me have consoles. Yeah, she never yeah. really let me watch TV or have a console. She thought like it was going to pollute my mind and you know, what have you. Rot your brain. Rot my brain, all you of that. You are a sore loser though, as we proved before. With yeah. I've destroyed yeah. your couple of times. I would say the one time I used to have shows his age is when he's playing FIFA. Listen, if that I had a, if I had recordings of what Mill uh, says over headset when he loses <laughs> a game of FIFA, you would think he was 12 years old. Uh, all I know is I once heard Sev go, oh, it's because the TV's like up on the wall. I was actually <laughs> making a joke, but it's fine. Yeah, and now he tries to nah, go up on that one. i tell you what, though. i tell you what, though. There's a lot of games we've missed. Um, There's too many, but There's we haven't got enough games. time. Yeah. But yeah, just like let us know in the comment below what yeah. game's your favourite game is yeah, and, yeah, and your couple of experience that you had with uh, people. Let's move on to the next story, please. The, the <laughs> next the next topic that we wanted to talk about, which is, um, we'll just, we won't do too much time because we've done a lot on the game in there. How much time we got left? Probably 20 minutes or so? 20% on battery left. 20% on battery left. Yeah, so Let's move swiftly then, shall we? Cool. Okay, so we'll do swiftly. We basically, seeing as the, the group we have here, the yeah. table we have here is... Uh, Two guests on the podcast who are informed on these these areas. Mm -hmm. Dwayne, um, we'll smash you two up. Yeah. That's actually quite fitting for what I'm going to talk about. Two events coming up that we wanted to get your thoughts on and looking ahead to. The Woo! first being, let's, let's wait before we do that. Before we touch on the ones coming up, let's hey, just quickly touch on KSI and Logan Paul. Okay, just briefly. Okay, yeah. just because it happened, we yeah, might as well actually, just speak actually, about yeah, it. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, because we're coming on to sort of combat sports. Yeah, yeah. So KSI Logan Paul. Um, I don't know about you. I actually I bought it. Um, Me Saturday too. Night. Supporting uh, that shit, supporting and, it. Yeah, 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 one was supporting, and also I thought I, I, I'm actually intrigued. Like mm. me and you said, we was watching, what's that guy's name? Bradley Martin. Yeah, Bradley. We Martin. was watching Bradley Martin's videos in the lead up to it, and me and him both said afterwards that it was a, we was working later one yeah, night yeah. with me that whether you wanted to or not, I'm into this fight now. I want to yeah. see, and not because of a, a boxing spectacle. Of, oh, te I just want to see how it plays out yeah. Yeah. because it, yeah. they did a hell of a job. Of promoting it yeah. and the YouTube content around it was actually really good. It Very wasn't good. forced, it wasn't stupid constant promotion. Yeah. Like Bradley Martin's videos where he literally went to both boxers and had them punch him in the face. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. reviewed That's like good. it's good content. Yeah, yeah. It was Very different. Good content. <coughs> so thoughts. I'll do mine very quickly and move on to you, but 
I thought the last three fights made it money well spent yeah. in a huge way. Yes, game. yes. The Jay Swingler fight against uh, uh, Anderson Gibb, um, it, that was... Anderson Gibb fight was wicked. It was they both went for it. No like technical. No technical. Yeah. technical yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, just both went for it. And also, even credit to Swingler because to get in some kind of offence against the guy that was fighting the way Gibb was, yeah. where it's mm. just... Chaos. Yeah. yeah. He and for someone who's untrained, he did so well there to like get something back and yeah, like, save sure, some face. Yeah. Sure. Really good fight there. Jake Paul versus Deji. I would say Jake Paul was still head and shoulders above, but he wasn't as good technically as I as I was led to believe going into it. And Deji was had more heart at least yeah. than I thought going into it. So I think both came off well there. Yeah. I, personally, I think Deji could have maybe done with just sort of taking it at the end and not saying he's calling out other people whatever mm. um, but Logan versus KSI I thought was a hell of a spectacle mm. and was a very very entertaining fight and as much as a draw is annoying I feel like the first two rounds Logan had it mm. but KSI had him another 30 seconds in that last round could have been could have been devastating mm. so a draw kind of makes sense if, would you guys if it was an 8 round fight KSI would have won just yeah. because Logan had, didn't have the fitness yeah. but I yeah. think if, if Logan yeah, had the fitness, fitness then it, it would have been a different story his fitness story. was gone the, um, the Jake fight I actually think that Jake looks like a better boxer 100% than Logan I agree with you he was good yeah he was I agree good. With like, you. Was good. they both look like some yeah. players, like Logan Paul especially in those first two and a half yeah. rounds they both look like better boxers than I thought yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, I thought they were. someone yeah. made a really good point just before it started where they said everyone was talking about Logan's uh extra four inches on the reach mm. but they were saying that only matters if he's learned how to use that he did though and he, he did that was the thing when well you started did. you realised but his fitness is what let him down his fitness is what let him down and also but it's also fair play to the fact that the fitness is an issue in rounds five and six but in rounds three and four when he wasn't completely blown out KSI did do very well he adapted to find a way round that reach. Yeah. He, he did to start to get an sure. offensive, yeah. which was very good. For sure. The um, the surprising thing for me was how effective his jab was. Like mm. both of them, both both Paul brothers. His countering, sure. Jake Paul, Jake Paul's sure. countering yeah, yeah. was yeah. really good. Like yeah. it was like it, impressive. It, in my eyes, no matter what the performance was, no matter what the result was. You just gotta admire these people. They, yeah, they've yeah, yeah. started in their bedroom, dude. Yeah, like yeah. playing games. Yeah. Yeah. They've they've captured the imagination of pretty much the whole world. Mm. We're UFC fans. We're boxing fans, right? Yeah, yeah. We don't know sh shit about YouTube. <laughs> like we don't, we don't have kind of we kind of I'm don't have mean. respect for it. Yeah, yeah. But mm. now they've kind of earned our respect. Yeah, for sure. Oh, they've 100%. taken a year out their their career. Yeah, just yeah. train, Training. train. And look what they've done, man. You just can't... You, you've got to so applaud them, such a man. huge spectacle. Fuck the technical it. side of it. Don't judge them on the technical side of it. Yeah. Look what they've done. Look what kind of hype they've created. But the thing is, if you were going into that fight looking for a technical masterclass, you're at the wrong event. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. it wasn't about that. No. Yeah. It's about... It's a spectacle, isn't it? There was, some, all, yeah. I'm not saying there was some technical shit no, there. There was. There was actually but it's like almost about... Face, yeah. Sensei's a good fighter. Yeah. yeah. But I think there's a... there's almost It was almost a celebration of... How how well these kids have done, yeah, for like sure. you say, to come from that to putting on this show, and the yeah. final numbers ain't even in yet, but we know they're good. Like well, bit, I mean, it's three quarters of a million can current live viewers. That's why. Yeah, I, that's yeah, that's why I, it's a bit yeah. of a fuck you to the broadcasters and a big fuck you to the big boxing yeah. boxing firms. Actually. To put that in perspective, just for anyone that isn't kind of aware, right? So we've done a couple of live streams here and there. Yeah. Right? Now for us to do a live stream, <clears throat> if we're maintaining four figures concurrent. Yeah. We're over the moon. Yeah. So yeah, if we're getting yeah, yeah, a thousand yeah. people consistently watching live. Yeah. We we think we've absolutely smashed it. Yeah. They had three quarters of a million. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unreal. Yeah. So one of the things that was sort of thrown around um, was the potential of Logan Paul making a transition into MMA and yeah. maybe going to fight in the UFC. And obviously, you and I, as big UFC fans, right. Like, and yeah, no, obviously, yeah, obviously, yeah. obviously, but obviously, I'm you saying are, we're big UFC fans. No, all of us. You don't we're, even we're, know we're, we're he's a champion, bruv. Are you mad? Oh, here we go. Listen, we're, I put you onto <laughs> MMA, don't you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we're all MMA fans. I'll, I'll hold my hand up and say that I'm I'm the least informed out of all of us. The, um, I like the spectacle, but you lot are... To be fair, you two stuff. are a bigger MMA fan than I am. Yeah. You're a bigger boxing fan. Yeah, you're saying. I'd love to admit that. But the... um, love me. But the... For me... I'd be, I would be interested in seeing how, obviously it was all fun, oh yeah, he's a wrestler, blah, blah, but is yeah. he actually 
good and can he put it all together? I would be interested to see whether he could like do the whole MMA. Thing. It would be interesting, wouldn't it? I do sometimes worry though that when you talk about MMA, I know the clues in the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But there's so many things there's you've got. So like, many you things. could have a CM Punk had a quote unquote background in wrestling, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I feel like there's only so many, so far that will get you. Come up against a brown belt in jiu-jitsu and oh, he'll kill, wrap he'll you up like a pretzel. Yeah. On that, we talked about this before, wrap but you I think up. CM Punk actually... CM Punk didn't have an amateur wrestling background. It was, was he, like, did it he do college he, wrestling or anything? I don't, no, he didn't do anything. Like oh, right, okay. He sort of dropped out of school and was... His, his background was backyard wrestling, as in WWE style and going through tables. Yeah. So there's he was different to Lesnar in that yes. Lesnar had... An actual, actual like collegiate, collegiate like, background yeah. in yeah. wrestling. Yeah, Punk weird. had Punk trained in martial arts on the side of his WWE career yeah. as yeah. a as a pastime and as a hobby, and then decided to go pro with it. So there is there is a difference in those two. Like <clears throat> I think if you put anyone in who's got a background in collegiate wrestling against someone who's just picked up like a Punk, whatever, I don't think it's a straightforward <sighs> yes or no. It's tough man. I'm not saying Logan Paul beat him, it's but tough. I don't think that's an easy one for Wrest- Punk. Wrestling right? is not enough. Wrestling is not enough in a mixed martial art. First of all, what about he's, now? He's, he's striking it with some boxing. He's striking. So he's striking his boxing. His boxing is good. Well, not good, it's but he's good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The way he moves his feet, I don't think he's ever thrown yeah. a kick in his life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. therefore, the the distance side of it. Yeah. Obviously, as a wrestler, he wants to close the distance and get the guy on the floor. But if you get a guy like Max Holloway, I'm not. I'm not saying he's gonna like. Fight Max Holloway, yeah, no. like a Tony Ferguson and a Max Holloway or someone like that. Mm. They're on their back. Mm. Is they are going to wrap him up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to get get him submitted. I'll destroy him. You can put as much as pressure as you want as a wrestler. I'll destroy him. Uh, they'll be done. If it was a version of a of a case, I think, and the mixed martial arts, someone else was prepared to do it. I reckon he would destroy people. Yeah, yeah. but so that but so this is what we're YouTube saying. YouTube side of it. Go go yeah. in the middle of those two yeah. really, because the middle of those two is. A CM Punk. Yeah. For yeah. I think he, he might be CM Punk. That's that was exactly yeah. the point I was making. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, I'm not I I don't think one or the other. Yeah. But I just don't think it would be as straightforward a win for the person who's done something in MMA but if people think. But if UFC I mean you disagreed push. on this a bit, didn't we? Uh, what? whether the, the disagreement we had was whether he punk would take that fight. I I didn't think he would take that fight. But if UFC lets that fight happen, Oh my God, they're Shit in storm. big trouble. Shitstorm. They're I in big trouble. After the last performance yeah. CM Punk had, yeah. it, sh- CM Punk should never ever fight for UFC. I actually yeah. think that Logan Paul's a bigger draw than CM Punk anyway. For sure. He would bring more for numbers sure. to the table, For sure. in my opinion. For sure. Uh, pay-per-view buyers, no. Worldwide audience, yes. Mm-hmm. An audience that's going to buy a pay-per-view, you're better to come yeah. off a wrestling audience than a YouTube. Maybe, that's yeah, true, true. Yeah, true. Right. I, think, yeah. I think with the... Um, I don't know, you know. Off the back of this, though... I, I'm interested to see exact, the exact numbers yeah, yeah, yeah. off the back of the stream, mm. but you, you, might, you might be right. I think that if, if it was the right matchup for, for Logan Paul, like that's a whole new audience that yeah. you're bringing to UFC. Unless a KSI decides to uh, fight Logan Paul with an MMA fight, I think it, Logan Paul will absolutely destroy him. Within a round, yeah, 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 finished. Yeah. Well, within three minutes. The other thing is as well for someone like a Logan Paul is he can then own that. Like KSI thing, yeah. is yeah. as much as Logan Paul was in this boxing fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KSI is becoming known as the he's a boxing YouTube, guy on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas if Logan Paul wanted to move into MMA, MMA. that position yeah. is open for him I, I to own. I, that I don't space. know if any of them like you. What we've mentioned CM Punk a couple of times. You watch CM Punk be interviewed around his UFC stint. Yeah. That was you could tell that was a guy who genuinely wanted to. Even if he lost his two fights, which mm. he did, and called it a day, yeah. he's probably still going to be doing jujitsu. He's still yeah, going to be yeah. hitting. Yeah. That was a guy who was invested in martial arts yeah. at that point. So I think you're going to have the same point that I had with discussing this with him. I don't think he'd take that fight off no. of not wanting to be in a novelty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think he yeah. took himself seriously. Yeah. And I also feel like, conversely, KSI and Logan Paul would much rather and probably make more money being the kings of YouTube boxing mm. or YouTube MMA yeah, than they would transitioning. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. If Logan Paul goes over to the UFC, let's say it happens, he gets a pretty average paycheck because like, if he's running... They're not the, going to pay him... Yeah. No, and he's running the show with the, what he's doing right now and if he loses, like that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 True. I think that as well, it's going to be difficult to find an opponent for him yeah. because Proper. if you throw him in there with anyone with any sort of kicking background... All it takes, I'm telling you from well, now, if yeah. you've Come never find fe- me, bruv. If you've if you've never felt a leg kick before, then the first leg kick you ever take yeah, will change your life. Right. You won't understand yeah. what it is that that mm. person just like. I've got kicked in the leg before by like a Muay Thai fighter, and it felt like he broke my leg. Mm. 
Obviously, yeah, he did. Sorry about that. Mm. <laughs> I didn't really mean to hear you. Idiot. <laughs> but seriously, though, Logan Paul, bro, I'm ready, bro. No, shut up. I'd, wa- I'd, I'd watch that fight. Up, I'd wrap you He's up. Watched that fight. I'd watch that fight. I'd wrap him up. I'd be in the front row, Mills. It'll be like it'll be like Pride Time, Look. where it's just much heavier, much I mean, bigger. Seriously, I'd after wrap the, him up after in the biggest bro. YouTube live event in the history of the platform, he's been waiting for a channel with fifteen thousand subscribers yeah, to call yeah. him out. So definitely go. But the, the, I mean, it gets to the point where size matters as well. Yeah. Not, when, not, not when you're back, bro. Not when you put him in a triangle. I'll get involved. I'll get Find another fat YouTuber. I'll do a sumo fight. <laughs> Pay per view sumo. Bring it in. Uh, Big Show did that. Remember that in wrestling? Re- I never Big saw Show that. Big Show had a. Uh, I can't remember who it was against now. Aki Bono. Big Show at uh, WrestleMania had a sumo wrestling match. Should we, so should should we move on to so the next story? Let's continue our transition because what that was bringing us yeah. into is two of the biggest combat sports, boxing and MMA and UFC sorry, fights. Coming up, yeah. first of all, is the boxing. We'll come on to that afterwards because we're talking MMA. Khabib versus McGregor. Mad. We've toyed with the idea of potentially doing a live stream watch along on Balls The up. Eagle versus the Notorious. And, uh, we had said, me and you said <laughs> from day one when we first talked about doing it, that if we were to do it, yeah. we, we'd have you, to get these two. I'll definitely be, in the room. I'll definitely More be. than up for that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Get a couple of pizza go go's on the go. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> on the yeah, pizza yeah, go go's on the go. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> what, what thoughts on. Uh, you start and go around. Khabib, do you want me to start? Start yeah. and go around. Okay, this is this is this is where I think um, I'm giving I'm giving um, McGregor ten percent chance, a punch's chance, because I believe maybe we could potentially time him, and as he's coming in, because obviously yeah, yeah. the Khabib is going to be trying to take him down. Uh, McGregor, if he times him as he's coming in, mm-hmm. he could knock him out and he could yeah. end the fight. Uh, the fight could well, finish to an finish in the first round by McGregor knockout. But most likely, if I had to put all my money on it, would be Khabib five round, probably stoppage of the fourth round of just bashing him up over yeah. and over again. Because when he takes him down the first round, you've got to remember, when you're, when you're taking him da- down for the first time, your lactic acid on your arms, just fighting a wrestler, fighting someone who's that good at mm. grappling, burn you up. with that much pressure, you, you'll burn up. So the second round, there'll no way he'll be throwing a jab that fast. There'll be no mm. way he'll have the same power in his hand. Mm-hmm. It'll be game over. I'm giving McGregor the first round. If he does well in the first yeah, round, the he might win. Okay. That's it. Jamie? I'll clarify to before I say anything else so that I, I, I think I think Khabib will win. Yeah. Um, I think wrestling wins that fight over the course of five rounds. But um, for some reason, regardless of the fact that I actually think that, I end up being more interested, at least in my head, in arguing the case for McGregor. Because he's a guy... In, 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 in for more, almost the majority of his career, certainly his career w- within the spotlight, he's been doubted almost every time. T- lo- yeah. When he fought Chad Mendes, people said it's the first it's time he's fought a high-level wrestler. He's yeah. gonna he's gonna get taken down. He's gonna get the shit beaten out of him. Yeah. Aldo, only featherweight he did champion though, in with history. Mendes, oh yeah, but he got up and he looked the bro- he mm. he never looked like he was taking significant enough damage that it was gonna cause him trouble. Yeah. And when they got up, uh, uh, Mendes was gassed and he was fine. But the difference between Mendes and, and Khabib, him. Mendes, M- Khabib, oh, K- Men- I'm Mendes not is not. Khabib. I'm not trying to compare yeah. Mendes and Khabib. I'm just trying to say that Connor, whether it was against Mendes and then against Aldo, and yeah. of course, well, he lost to Nate, but even, even all the way up to the Alvarez fight, yeah. he's. Dana White said something the other day that that Connor's actually underrated as yeah, a I fighter, well. and there's some he's, truth he's to that good. if you look he's at the way good. people back the people he's fought against in his UFC fights. Yeah. When you have a striker's chance, which you, you said that, and you're right, every every round, and there are going to be five of them. Start standing up, yeah. and if yeah. you want to change that, you've got to take your man yeah. down. McGregor's takedown defense is reasonable. It's, McGregor yeah. off his back is reasonable. We also haven't seen how much he's improved if he has over the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. We also have seen in the last couple of years question marks possibly over Khabib stand up. Yes, like was he taking the Ally Quinter fight seriously? Sure. I don't know, yeah. but yeah. there were some question marks there. How before like the, or before that fight? If you're getting yeah. tagged by Michael well. Johnson, yeah, he's if you're getting tagged by Michael Johnson, Michael yeah, Johnson he did, he looked like him. he rocked him at some yeah, point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, th- th- there's question marks there. Yeah, there's and like, which is why you can't say that McGregor doesn't have a chance. And you know, what? I'd fucking love it. Yeah. I tell you McGregor what, though, yeah. I could see this happening. Yeah. McGregor getting in an armbar. I could nah. see it happening. The reason you can see happening getting Khabib in an armbar. Yeah, because Khabib will be like, you know what? I'm underestimating him. I'm just going to be on top of him. I'll do whatever I want to him, and then just let his arm slip one time, and it just takes. It literally takes You're like two, about three a seconds. Sambo champion. It's, it's Sambo I'm not. I'm not champion. saying. I'm giving him ten percent chance, McGregor here. Standing up on the gra- on the ground, he hasn't got a yeah. hope in hell, bro. You're talking about a man who 
for his size. He's been working on. Uh, he's he's been working with uh, with uh, the Gracies on his uh, jiu-jitsu. It doesn't matter who he works with. The guy grapples with DC and Luke Rockhold and and holds his Rockhold own. Rockhold was not a good wrestler, anyway. but Rockhold's a great stand-up. But Rockhold, he's two hundred and five pounds, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Khabib, he, fights at Khabib, has a better, ha, Khabib has way better training partners because he's got Rockhold, who's a great striker, Bro. great kicker. Then he's got a DC, who's potentially one of the best uh, best MMA fighters out there. I would, I, if it was me, and I had to call the best wrestler in the UFC, it's DC, right? Best grappler is Khabib. Yeah, like, yeah. Gr- gr- he's gonna grappling. wrap him up. He's gonna wrap him up. Yeah. Like, I, I'll it, be completely honest with you here. The only scenario I see Conor be, uh, beating Khabib is like you say. Khabib's very suspect yeah. when it comes to, as he's coming forward, he's not like this. He's like this. Yeah. He's very stand-up straight. He leaves his chin hanging out a lot. And if you're getting caught by Michael Johnson, who, he's quick, but he's not powerful, and he rocked you, it's his... McGregor's mm, left hand yeah. is dynamite, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, he would have improved just puts own, people's lights yeah. out. He would have improved from that fight. Like, he's not just going <laughs> to go in there, like, like, forget about McGregor's left hand. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he's yeah, going to be working on true, this. Like, he's not going to just go yeah, in. That, that, that yeah. left hand catches people. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does catch people. I'm coming at it. I'm not going to try and t- t- sit here and argue a, an actual Casey boy because you lot know head and shoulders above me on this stuff. All I'll say is from a... I'm probably coming at it to probably the wider audience that's going to come to this fight, the audience that comes in from a bigger yeah. fight. And I would say that <clears throat> there's been a few fights of McGregor's in yeah. the last couple of years where as you go into them, it always feels like this is the one where he's going to get caught out. Yeah. yeah. And every time, similar to what you said, you realise as soon as it starts that he talks such a good game mm. that it actually makes you think he can't back it up as much as he can. Yeah. yeah. And then when, the, when it actually starts, you realise the guy is better. Than, we, we forget how good yeah, he is. He's very underrated. And I'm not yeah. saying that Khabib is very good. I've watched quite a bit of Khabib. Khabib is very good. But... He's scary. I yeah. think... And I'm just going to do it so because I think the room is going more towards Khabib, and I'm going to yeah. be the one that goes the other way. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. McGregor carries on, and I In- think he, he can interesting. You say that you say McGregor likes to. We've seen his press conference; he destroys the opponent yeah. before even gets in. There is no war tour. Um, I haven't seen any any conference with <coughs> with them two involved. That hasn't been on yet. Um, he's the one that's made the mistake by attacking the bus. Right? I don't think that was a mistake. It was a big mistake. He got in Khabib's Obvious. head big time. I don't think he got in Khabib's head. I think he did. He got in a fight with a bus. That's where he got fight Khabib with. was rattled. He was you not can't, rattled. Bro, he was doing like webcam videos no, talking about come I'm, and find me, come and find me. What I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say, maybe UFC has gone, you know what? Just concentrate on the fight, concentrate on training, and stop talking trash talk. Because if he does get beat, he just goes, you know what, man? I lost a better man, and mm. like he doesn't look silly. Well, that's one of like, the that things that I liked about his press conferences after the Nate Diaz loss. He was literally all he was saying was, "I got beat by the better man. Yeah. I was fatigued." He's always humble in the, he's always humble, humble in defeat, defeat and victory. And victory. I Sometimes like him not that. humble in victory when he's got the double bet. And well, yeah, I like but, to apologize yeah, well, to <laughs> fucking no. <one. laughs> that's not really <laughs> being way, humble. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, no. yeah, yeah. true. Let's yeah. let's so that's that's our thoughts. We'll probably do something around the fight near the time, but we'll move on to the last one, which is in terms of the boxing world. Canelo versus Golovkin two, Ooh. Triple G against uh, against Canelo. But yeah. what are our thoughts here? I'll 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 start by saying the first fight between these two is if you haven't seen it, mm. go you watch, have to watch it, it, man, because it's incredible. Yeah. It's so good to see a fight where two guys at the top of their game mm. proper go for it uh. and. And go for it where well, they don't lose a well, hint of the they don't lose a hint of the skill. Like the, the skill is still there for both of them. Mm. Ending the draw, we go to this fight. A lot of people made the case that uh, Golovkin won the first one. Mm. Um, the, the the kind of the way people spoke about it afterwards was that Golovkin hit more, but uh, Canelo hit more clinically. He got uh. he got better shots in with the, the fewer that he hit. Um, <clears throat> Me personally, I love Triple G, but there's not a boxer that I enjoy watching as much as Canelo. He's always, and especially, he's one of those boxers, I think, that he came up, he was very, very, very good. Mm-hmm. But 
he's a boxer that's gone up levels for sure, in these next for stages sure. of his career. You've got to remember, Canelo started when he was like 16. He turned yeah, professional yeah. when he was 16. And he, yeah. the, the Mayweather so fought, fight was very early in he, his career. He's fought big boys yeah. from day one. Yeah. He's fought yeah. May Mayweather, which he, protect, he got schooled. We, we yeah. know he lost every round in that fight. And somehow, <laughs> somehow CJ Ross, the worst judge of all time, <laughs> uh, called it a, major, a, a draw. Yeah, uh, yeah. He gave that fight a draw. I have no idea. Anyway, she's been, she's been banned from that, so which, which is good. Um, then, then she <laughs> fought. Put in a word. And then yeah, she fought. Done, and then yeah. he fought Lara, which I potentially thought he lost that fight. I don't know what do you think? What you thought he, he, he happened? I thought he lost that fight. Then if he, he wasn't fought a Kirkland, big name. Yeah. great fight with Kirkland. Amir Khan, classic Amir Khan. <laughs> if you need a knockout, just call up. Having Amir said Khan. that, <laughs> um, Amir Khan was beating him. He was beating him. Amir Khan was beating him. Amir Khan was beating him. But G, 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 Triple G is not Amir Khan. No, yeah. In yeah, terms yeah, of yeah. like the speed and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Going back to the fight. I think Canelo has a better resume as a boxer mm. than 100%, Golovkin. Yeah. Golovkin because has, of the names, yeah. Golovkin has beaten uh, Daniel Jacobs, who's mm. potentially one of the best middleweights out there Hands for down, me, yeah. but barely beat him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he it beat him Varnas, Varnas, uh, Varnas, who was fucking great under Freddie Roach back in the days, but he's no longer not, no, not did the a same fight resume. for two years. The resume is he not beat Kel Brook, Kel Brook moving up again. It was like a bit of an Amir Khan kind of a situation. Mm. So, resume, Canelo's better. Glovkin, for me, he definitely won the first fight. Mm. And what was criminal about I the first fight? I think he did. But I just, uh, I love watching Canelo box. I, I understand that. Like when, when Canelo gets you on a, on a combo. Yeah. Like I don't think there's, I think there's very few things in boxing that look better. Yeah, like sure. the guy's so quick for and sure. so clinical. For sure. yeah. Powers. What, what, what wound me up around the first fight though, was one of the judges gave eight rounds to Canelo. Yeah, he did, yeah. Like, was ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what if if you if you if you said a draw one fifteen mm. one fifteen one fifteen and uh, no sorry one fifteen one fifteen draw mm. I'll be happy with that. Even though I think gonna, gonna, uh, Glovkin won mm. quite comfortably. Mm. Um, even uh, Max Kellerman thought the same thing. HBO thought the same thing. If you did that, I was like, fair enough. But if one judge is giving eight rounds, you're like, what is going What's, on? Yeah, what There's something yeah, happening. Yeah, something, yeah. It's not you're right, protecting yeah. your superstar, which yeah. is which is fine. Now find out he's been potentially cheating mm -hmm. uh, because he's eating the dodgy meat yeah. from Mexico. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, uh, yeah. So I don't know. I'm, I'm intrigued about the second fight. He's been <clears throat> running his mouth quite a lot. In the first fight, he ran a lot. Uh, you said you said they both put on the line. I don't think he put his side Do you know on the why? line. Put what? I didn't say they were put on the line. Like, they were both, like going they were both going for it. Both, oh, Canelo was yeah. moving away ahead of him. Yeah. Yeah. Canelo what, was. What I mean by when they both put on the line is that you watch that fight back. Uh, they both take full on batterings to the face in it, and it was a testament to two fighters that can take a fucking punch. Mate, there was if a bit where Canelo w literally just this was oh, the, oh, the overhand <laughs> right, yeah. the overhand and then right. Golovkin just went, but Golovkin's that's the face, single best take of taking that, the shot oh, I've ever yeah, watched. Yeah. There's, and there's one, there's the an uppercut on the as well. There's, Canelo comes in with an uppercut at one yeah, point, yeah, man. and Golovkin's head rocks. And as he comes back, there was there's like ten moments in that fight with each of them where they get clapped and they yeah. look at each other yeah. and just go. It's like, just, how are these two both saying yeah. bring it? I just it constantly. cannot root for. I just don't know. I just cannot root for Canelo. I can't even. I can't root yeah. for yeah. Canelo. No, I love watching cheating. fight. I think Golovkin. First, wins. first of all, I think he's cheating. Second of all, I don't like De La Hoya uh, yeah, yeah, because same. because he wears anyway, uh, and uh, you know I'm talking <laughs> well, about. I mean, and then uh, fish nets. Uh, he wears fish nets on his. It's their own mate. And he's yeah. 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 Coke and he sleeps with prostitutes. Anyway, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Glovkin, probably the nicest and the most humble guy you'll ever meet yeah, in your entire quality. life. Yeah. It's just it's something about you get it sometimes with certain boxers where just the aesthetic of watching them. For me, it's like Canelo connecting with a punch just looks like gold. Yeah. I love yeah. it. No, you're right. But it's if I'm right. going to call it, yeah. Golovkin wins for me every day. Yeah. On this second fight, I think Golovkin I wins. Know, you know. But uh, I think it's going to be I hope he wins. great. Fight. I hope he if wins. it's close again, then Canelo will win. Five minutes, Jamo. I've got Golovkin as well. Yeah. yeah. But I'll be honest, most of me is just happy that it's actually happening. Yeah, and I hope yeah, yeah. we'll actually yeah. end up with a decisive winner between the two. Yeah. There's been a remarkably long time coming before we could just put this Certainly. one to bed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good good night of boxing. Big you know, drama show. Big you, drama show. We didn't get your thoughts on it. Well, it's pretty much the same as Mills, really. I just know that if it's gonna be a close fight again, Canelo will probably take it again. Do you think? Yeah. Really? yeah. 
So would you put money on? You will put your money on Canelo. The biggest star always gets the decision. It's but I don't. Tragic. I don't think. I don't I think, think necessarily. Likes. If you're looking at the next couple of years, I don't think he can make such an argument of being Glocky's the biggest star. Glovkin's 36. He's done. But this is where this yeah. is. Yeah, Glovkin's right. 36. He's not he's got got an old man. Left. He's not got long. Canelo's 29. Like he's That's the biggest mad. star. You forget he's how young Canelo was. He started when he was 16. How young was he when he fought Mayweather? 24, 23. Yeah. He's, he was a young be, man. Yeah, it must yeah, be 23. He was a young man. He's made a Jeez. lot of money. He's, he's made a lot of money, man. Lot of money. He's made a lot of but money. Where, but this is why... I don't say I don't like boxing. I, I love boxing. But the reason I prefer UFC is because fighters are not so protective over their records. They're a lot more willing to take fights yeah, because take losses loss, yeah. don't mean as much. In boxing, if you take a loss and you're at the top of your career, yeah, that's potentially the end of your career. Yeah, right, yeah. Like, with UFC... Yeah. You can be in a free fight loss streak and people still want to watch your fights because you're an ex yeah. exciting fighter. Yeah, like Chris Weidman, I don't know if it was three yeah, or four yeah. losses. Three, yeah. yeah, three or four. Three, yeah, yeah. And, and like people still wanted to watch him because he's one of the best middleweights in the world. So I think that's where my love of UFC takes over my love of boxing. I still love both sports, but I just feel the authenticity of UFC more and it's not so protected. Yeah, man, wicked, wicked. So there we have it. Let us, know, let us yeah. know your thoughts on both fights and the KSI Logan Paul fight yeah, um, down in the comments. Uh, also, let us know if you would be up for us doing a, uh, a, a watch, watch along. along. Yeah, man. Yeah, watch at, along least for, at least for the UFC, amazing. we won't be able to turn it around in time. Amazing. to do We're all piling at three in the morning. To go -go. <laughs> but we'll do it. We're, 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 we've mentioned doing it. We're up for doing it. Um, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Five stars. Follow everyone's stuff, and we'll catch you next time. See you later. See Follow yeah. me on Instagram.